Let's go to Johnny's. Conveniently located on Route 11 just south of Chambersburg with easy access from Interstate 81. For over 50 years, Johnny's has been bringing you restaurant quality foods and more at wholesale prices. You may shop at Johnny's Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. and on Saturday from 8 till 1 and no membership cards needed at Johnny's. Once inside Johnny's, you'll find food, equipment, and supplies. Whether it's dinner for two or 200, Johnny's knowledgeable and friendly staff is there to help. Restaurant quality foods at wholesale prices. Let's find out what's cooking at Johnny's. Hi, I'm Rod Hawker from Johnny's. Thanks for joining us today. I am so excited. This is our very first show and it is going to be sweet. We've got Roger Tappen, okay? He's a corporate chef, cookbook author. He's going to be here today with preparation tips on some of the best food you can buy at Johnny's. We also have, you guessed it, food guru, director of purchasing, Brent Straley. He's here today with some questions and answers on that same great food you love to buy from Johnny's. Now my favorite food, and it's probably yours too, shrimp, 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 shrimp. That's right, shrimp, those tasty morsels from the sea, and I want to eat some, yeah! So let's find out right now what's cooking with Roger Tappen, what's cooking at Johnny's. Well, here I am, you heard me say shrimp is my favorite food, and you also heard I've got cookbook author, corporate chef, Roger Tappen in Johnny's kitchen. So Roger, I want to cook some shrimp. What do you think? Okay, Rod, that's a good place for it. We got good news and we got good news. All right. Number one, we have the best shrimp in America here at Johnny's. And number two, shrimp is easy to cook. So let's start with the basic fundamental and we're going to create a brine. Rod, would you All give right. me a hand here? Sure. You take that half whisk and just kind of give me a gentle stir. I can do that. Fundamentally, we need a lot of heat because we want to encircle our shrimp with heat that, to do the cooking. So we're going to start, we're going to add some acid and some flavor. Two keys, volume and flavor. That's what we're going after here. So we've got our volume, we've got about two and a half gallons of water in a 16 quart pot. So we're going to add the cider vinegar in this case. Some people like to put beer in, that's fine. I like beer. Old, old bay. I like beer with old bay. Stir that up, Rod. All right, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Dry mustard. Now, Put dry it in mustard. about a quarter cup each of the Old Bay. Dry mustard. Uh-huh, and beer. Yep, and beer's <laughs> later, beer's later. Oh, okay, okay. You know I like and beer. about a tablespoon of whole celery seed. Wow. And just to give it a little kick, I'm gonna put in some red cayenne pepper. Cool. All right, this is starting okay. to smell really good, Raj. Unmistakable mm. shrimp brine. It's just, just lovely in the kitchen, unmistakable. Well, that looks good, Rod. Well, we're, at a, we're at a low simmer here. We've got a large okay. volume of water, and it's well seasoned, so we are ready to go. Okay, well, while this gets to uh, uh, come to the boil, let's get over to Brent Straley, our Director of Purchasing, and learn more about this shrimp that we're going to cook and taste. Well, I'm back with Brent Straley, the food guru from Johnny's. The reason I invited Brent to the show today is his product knowledge, and that's what you want to know about when you put food in your mouth. Hey, Brent, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Brent, I get a lot of questions about shrimp, and particularly IQF. What does IQF mean? IQF means individually quick frozen. It is the same shrimp that you're going to see in this five-pound block of shrimp, except you can take out as few or as many as you like. Put the rest away in the freezer and you're good to go a week from now, a month from now, a year from now for that matter. Wow, so I used to think when I had a five pounds, I had a five pound that I had to do the whole five pounds. With this IQF shrimp, you can just do a handful, two handfuls, a pound. Exactly. Well, that's great. I don't need to run to another store. I can have five pounds in my freezer and go from there. Nope, just run a little bit of water over them, get them into the brine, and in five minutes you're, you're eating shrimp. Wow, that's fantastic, Brent. Now, of course, the block shrimp, I guess, is... Just like you said, huh? It's yeah, it's block shrimp. Uh, it needs to be thawed out in some form. It takes a little longer to thaw, but it's the same good quality product. Uh, the fact is, you need to use all five pounds at one time. A uh, little bit uh, less convenient. Wow. You know, before I worked at Johnny's, I went to the store and bought these tiger shrimp. Now, I, I don't see any tiger shrimp. I've been here 23 years. Why don't we carry tiger shrimp here at Johnny's? You should have asked me before you went. Hey, <laughs> tiger shrimp is very firm. It is very bland, uh, has a real thick shell to it, is not designed for steaming like we do here in Pennsylvania. 
uh, steaming and boiling. It is not designed for that. It's okay to cook up a little bit and put into an, as an ingredient, not for steaming though. Not okay. for steaming. We don't sell them here. Now I know no. better. The best no. shrimp are at Johnny's. Now, Brent, the next question I get asked, numbers. You see small shrimp, medium, large, then you see these numbers, 3640, right. 2630. I mean, what does all this mean? This is how the shrimp are graded. This one, as an example, is a 3135, which means it's going to have 33 shrimp on the average per one pound, or 165 shrimp in a box. Uh, this one is 2630, so you're going to have 28 uh, shrimp per pound. Keep in mind, the larger the number, the smaller the shrimp. Wow. Well, thank you, Brent. I appreciate that insight. Now, I've got to ask you, Brent. Johnny's consistently has the lowest price in town on golf shrimp. Why, Brent? Well, we go out, uh, we start basically this time of the year. Shrimp are being caught right now in, in the Gulf. This is the finest time of the year to catch them. This is a fine, it's going to give you the best quality, the best price. We actually have 45,000 pounds of shrimp in our freezers right now in this building, ready to sell you. Well, that's a lot of yeah. shrimp. We can supply we a lot of people shrimp here at Johnny's. Now, Brent, another question we get asked. These shrimp look like they're thawed out. They are. How long will they last in my refrigerator from the thawed out state? About two days. Keep them about good and cold. About two days they need to be cooked up. Now, they can be cooked and, and set aside to be used uh, within three, four, five days, or they can be refrozen. Do not refreeze them if they're just thawed. They have to be cooked before they're frozen again. Okay, and if I've steamed them and then just don't eat them all, then it, can, it lasts how long? Oh, in the three or four days. No all problem. right, no cool. Problem. Great. Well, I tell you what, Johnny shrimp are so good, I'm not going to have them in my refrigerator three or four days. I don't know about you. <laughs> All right, Brent. Well, look, frozen. From the frozen state, I guess it's like any frozen food. I mean, I throw, I buy a bag at Johnny's, I throw it in my freezer. How long can I keep it in the freezer? Easily a year. Easily a year. In the case of the IQF, if you do remove some, make sure that you uh, put them in another container, seal them well. Okay. Uh, other than that, they'll keep well for a year. All right. Yep. Well now, these are awful pretty shrimp, Brent, and I get asked some questions about color. And of course, you know me, I'm not too bright. That's why you're here. That's why we hired you. Now, tell me about color, Brent. Uh, basically, there are three colors of shrimp. There's a pink, a white, and a brown. This happens to be a brown. Predominantly what we sell are brown shrimp here. They, all those uh, colors I mentioned end up cooked up pink. So don't be confused by that. This is what we sell here, brown shrimp from the Texas Gulf USA production. Cool. Well, that's great. Well, hey, now you know you got those shrimp questions answered by the guru of all gurus, Mr. Straley here from Johnny's. Let's go and cook some of these shrimp up because I'm getting hungry and I can't eat these. Well, we just heard from Brent Straley about the great Gulf shrimp here at Johnny's. We heard about restaurant quality foods at wholesale prices, and that's when we're talking those low price shrimp here at Johnny's. But now you know, Roger, I am getting hungry. We started this boil gone. What do I do now? Remember, old Rod Hogger's not too bright. So take it again now. What do I do? Okay, Rod. Very simple. First, look at look at those shrimp. 31 35s. Can wow. you believe it? Hey, those are nice shrimp. They're look at them. Terrific. That is a large shrimp, and I hear they're on special for $17.95 at Giannis. Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. That Just great. is. As Brent told us, I think we're going to have uh, Texas browns here. We've got a nice roll, volume of, uh, of a brine, got it well seasoned. It's, a, it's rolling at a boil now, and we're going to put them in here. And I'll try not to splash you, Rod. Okay. The shrimp is thawed. Does not have to be, but it sure slows down the process if it's not. So thaw it for two days in your refrigerator uh, in, in another pan, make sure it doesn't drip, or run it under cold water and leave your water running, dripping.